Hello everyone, this is Tracy Holloway and this is the Life Upgrade broadcast Ascension Steps. Thank you for joining in this evening. There are so many of you uh, joining this broadcast. I'm very excited and absolutely delighted to be with you. We're going to talk about some quite interesting things, I think, over the course of this hour. And most importantly, you're going to receive an activation uh, along with this energy transmission that will help you to make the shift that you're looking to make in your own life. This time of transformation, this time of ascension, the time of this great shift is affecting us all in different ways. We're perhaps being challenged way beyond what we have previously experienced. And those challenges are not only personal, they're collective. And we're watching a, a big shake-up in the world around us. We're learning to let go. We're learning to put things into perspective. We're learning to see what's important and what isn't and to hold dear to our heart those things that resonate at that frequency of purity, of truth, of absolute. It really is a transformational time for everyone. And the more you let go into this time of transformation and change, the greater the opportunity to transcend those limitations and be part of a much greater picture. You can allow yourself to see things more clearly than ever before. Though there is an inner resistance often that make us want to hide and shy away. Sometimes the energy of this time feels almost overwhelming. It can push our buttons as it asks us to show up and be authentic and true and shine out as the real you of you. And of course that can bring up those issues of self-limitation, that self-imposed prison. And we can quite easily wish to hold back rather than stepping forward and being accountable. There's a great deal of support available to you at this time. And this support is coming to you as an energy transmission. The unique energy transmission of the ascension has started to be grounded by certain people at this time, showing up, shining out, taking their place. Recently, when the heart, the true heart portal was activated, we had a group of 33 people follow their heart, follow their intuition, and turn up at that exact coordinate, at that exact place in time, and hold the space required for the activation of that portal and the introduction of this new energy, this new frequency to the planet. This is not uh, an old energy, this is not something that's been hidden and is now discovered. It's not anything to do with an ancient tradition, this is something brand sparkly new, the highest vibration. It's very exciting that we are being guided by this frequency of energy at this time. And I'm so grateful to the initial 33 people who took their place to embody and ground that energy transmission at that specific time. When we learn to follow that intuition, when we learn to follow that inner guidance, we find that we do end up in exactly the right place with the right people at the right time and magical and amazing things happen. We're learning to surrender to this flow at this time. It sows a greater understanding, a greater awareness 
a greater flow of intelligence and information can be brought to our planet at this time. This is what the ascension is about. Grounding these new energies. Awakening to our potential. As these new energies came to the planet for the first time and they were embodied, a new wave of information was able to be transmitted and that energy transmission is being brought to you tonight. Those initial 33 people that heard that calling and followed and came to that place set the seeds in motion rooted themselves into the ground at that time, awakened to that potential by saying, yes, I'm here, I'm who I am, and this is me. And in doing so, they acted as keys, bringing coded information to the planet that was an, able to unlock within them a certain frequency that was able to draw to it the new energy of this ascension time. That energy transmission that's being brought to you today, you are the first wave, if you like, of receivers of this unique energy transmission. And it's interesting that as we came to broadcast this tonight, there were 303 people tuned in to receive this wave of information, this wave of transmission, to receive the activations that are coming to you today. Those threes, the 33 and now the 303, <laughs> is interesting because this is the number of ascension. We couldn't have planned it this way. The universe has sent an invitation and you have heard that invitation and you have acted according to that transmission in your heart. You followed that guidance and it's brought you together with this amazing group of people at this special time. I'd like to just acknowledge each and every one of you for hearing that calling. Because some of you may not know really why you bothered listening in when you're so busy and there's so many other things that you could be doing today. But some part of you knew. Some part of you had the intuition to just listen in and see what it's about. And it's that part of you, that inner knowing, that inner wisdom, that inner guidance, which will support you and help you through this time of change. That part of you is growing, gaining confidence, and will bring you great riches as you start to listen and to know and to flow with that greatness. You have an amazing opportunity being presented to you. The opportunity is to awaken fully to this immense power that you have, to the truth of who you are, and to ground that light, to ground that magnificence, and to bring yourself in your entirety, your totality, to this beautiful planet at this time. As you awaken, gently, gently, bit by bit, to what this really means, you will awaken to a greater intelligence, a super conscious state of being, a place of presence, a point of absolute where you can surrender completely to what is knowing that everything that you are and all that you're here to do is part of a great unfolding 
empowering, moving, evolving consciousness. It's here to serve humanity, to bless this beautiful planet and to support a great change as this overall ascension occurs. You're an important player in this game. You have an important role to play in the greatest show on earth. The show is already underway. You've been practicing for a while. Practicing letting go of the old. And opening up more fully to the new. As you let go more and more and you ask those deeper questions of yourself. Who are you? Why are you here? What's it really about? And the universe will start to show you in ever inspiring ways. Not only what the truth is, but it will help you to see through the illusion. And there is a great deal of illusion to see through as it falls away. You are a watcher. You're observing reality, becoming more conscious of what you see, what resonates, what's real and true at the frequency of the heart, of truth, of compassion, of love, integrity. All that which cannot hold that frequency will be released, gently, gently, bit by bit, as you, the watcher, can see more clearly than ever before. And you know where to put your attention, what's important. And you let the rest of the stuff just fall away. There's no need to attach to it, no need to fear it. No need to give it your energy. No need to fear it. This is a powerful time of transformation which is going to be going on for a number of years and there is no shortcut. People spend a lot of time beating up on themselves for not being there yet, for not having it right yet, for not having worked it all out yet. These are the kinds of things that we need to let go of. Everything is exactly as it needs to be. Everything is in perfect flow. You are in perfect flow. There are certain things that you can become aware of that can help make this transformational journey more comfortable, perhaps less of a struggle, perhaps there can be less suffering when you realise that suffering is a choice. You can let go of that too can let go of the pain and the discomfort even when you're feeling it rather than wrapping it up and yet in yet more and more attachment building story upon story around it just know that the pain and the suffering the constrictions that are being felt the resistance the limitations are just being observed as they're passing through, passing through you, 
passing through others. As you're travelling through this time of letting go, so this time is travelling through you. And so rather than getting caught up in it, just know that it's a transient journey and trust in the flow. You're opening up more and more each day as you become conscious of the you of you, the person you came here to be, what values you have what you're prepared to let go of and what you're ready to embrace. You have unique coded information within you supporting your journey. And this unique coded information is required by the planet at this time. So as you become more grounded, as you become more fully awake, more conscious, so those codes of information are brought to the planet and a greater transformation of consciousness occurs for all. This is the ripple effect that will be felt by your family and your friends, those around you. And you'll start to notice them changing. You'll notice them letting go. You may be surprised by what you see. And this is the power you have to make a difference just by being you, just by shining through, through those dark times, through those challenges, through those difficulties which are inevitable as we learn to let go. We learn to get things into perspective and we awaken to a whole new world, a whole new way of being. There is a tussle and a struggle for a while, without doubt. People have such a need to control everything from that small part of themselves rather than let go and trust the bigger part of themselves. And so it's like a push me, pull me. It's like a tussle, a, a tug of war, a power struggle between the little you and the magnificent you. And the beauty of the magnificent you is that it will just simply observe as the little you struggles and tussles and fights, tries to have control of everything, tries to have ultimate power, and you'll watch over that process until eventually, and who knows when that might be, you'll let go completely and allow that greater power that you are the divine you, the fullness of you, have complete and absolute connection to everything, everywhere, to be surrendered to the flow and for you to move in alignment with that flow freely, without fear, just knowing and trusting, moving gently. And so this tug of war, this tussle, this struggle, it's playing out in lots of different ways. It's the resistance, you know. Of course you know all of this stuff and I'm here just simply to remind you you have so many moments of clarity, so much insight, such connectivity. Those awakened moments when you just know and then you kind of fall back to sleep. 
me snooze away for a little while longer in your old habits, your destructive patterns, self-limiting thoughts and behaviours, controlling and fearing and holding on so tightly. And so this is a pattern that every single person is playing out at this time in the evolution of consciousness. Some people are spending more and more time in that awakened state as we ground more and more of this new energy. And some people are hardly even waking up yet. But the truth is that everyone will make this shift. Everyone will make the journey. It's not whether you make the journey or not. It's about how easy you're going to let it be. And how much struggle you're going to have along the way. And whether you can let go enough to awaken to your true potential and let that shine through shine that magnificence, that light energy transmission, the truth of who you are in this, to this planet in a walking, talking reality, to be fully present, fully engaged with life from a heart-centered place of connectivity, of oneness. Well, we know it's possible, don't we? And we're ready to take our place, aren't we? And we can do it when we come together and share that energy transmission, feel guided and supported from that greater part of ourselves, which is trying always to get us to listen and open up and receive the insights. You're being called forth. You're being called forth to take your place at this time. To be in your true power. To see what's possible when you allow yourself to be yourself to allow others to see you for who you really are. The beautiful being that you so often hide away from. As you shroud yourself in layers of shame and guilt and low self-worth. These are just the costumes that you wear to hide your true light. Because at some level, it seems easier to hide in the shame and the discomfort, the restrictions of self-loathing and self-denial and self-abandonment and self-rejection. At some level, it seems easier to engage with all of that than to shed those layers and to show who you really are. This invitation calls you forth to let go of all that you're not so that through this journey of ascension can come into being fully. Plug into the earth. Ground that which you are. So that this light, this power, this magnificence can help bring our earth fully into her power.
so that she can come fully into alignment with her divine self. And feel blessed as we hold her in our heart, in joy, in celebration. And we nurture her with our light energy transmission. Rather than getting in the way and blocking that energy by showing up small, by resisting. Our light in its purity and its entirety is the fuel that brings our beautiful planet into alignment with the divine heart and flow throughout all in creation. Who are we to get in the way of that flow? With our small mind and our small thinking, our old habits, our conditioned responses. We are either plugging in fully to the power of this cosmos or we're disconnected and therefore not in service. You're called forth at this time to be of service through this period of ascension. And all that's asked of you is that you bring your light fully to the earth. Bring your light. That's your love, your joy, your enthusiasm, your inspiration, your creativity, your love of life. To open up to your own true purpose. Your purpose is to receive the greatest energy transmission available at this time to hold that frequency of light and to be elevated to a super state of consciousness through that light energy transmission to be guided by it. Bringing forth all the innovation and the inspiration and the insights required to bring our earth forward through graduation to an abundant time. You're part of this. You're the most important part of this. Without you there is no ascension. Without you there is no transformation. Without you there is no new world. As all of this is born within you. Through you as you awaken to that which you know, to that which is true, so that we can all share that truth, so that we can all share that love, that unity, that wholeness and oneness and be the blessing that this beautiful planet deserves. She deserves to be held in such light. She deserves to be empowered. And so as you step up and you step out, you not only help to change the world, the big picture, you help your family, your friends, society as a whole. You are the energy transmission that's being brought to the planet. As you walk and you talk and you harness the truth into your bones, into your blood, to your body. So is every part of you, every molecule of your being resonates at that frequency of absolute. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to know anything. 
You just have to be. And to get out of the way with the judgments and the fears and the limitations, conditioned responses, the knee-jerk reactions, the anger, the pain, the resentment. As you shift from that paradigm, as you no longer buy into it, as you start to walk and talk in truth, in love, you are an ascended being, but you're not disappearing off somewhere. You're walking and talking and grounding that energy here for others to share. So that the new and important souls, the children that are being born at this time, and those new ones that have been coming through over the past few years, that are so precious to this time, they can find truth by seeing you, by sensing you, by being in your energy. There is so much in this world that is false right now. So much illusion and distraction. And these beautiful souls, these new children, they need to be grounded to something real. And so your energy is helping with this too. Otherwise there's nothing for them to relate to. They feel disconnected abandoned, cut off, like they're in the wrong place, in the wrong family, <laughs> in the wrong planet. Do you remember that feeling? Do you remember how awful it is to feel that you just can't relate to anything anywhere? You feel so isolated, so desperate, that you just don't want to be here, because there's no truth. Everything just feels so wrong. You can bring the frequency of truth. You can help other people to feel okay about being themselves. You can be authentic. You can be yourself. And in doing so, these children find their way home at last and they help to ground this new energy transmission, helping to bring the hope for humanity to change this world and bring everything we need through in time to make a difference, to get everyone to shine to be accountable, to come fully into alignment with that which is. I invite you to take a moment to close your eyes if you haven't done so already. like to ask you just to take a moment to focus on your breathing. Focus on the breath moving into your body and the breath moving out. There's nothing else you need to do right now. There's nowhere else you need to be. This invitation is an invitation into presence, a moment for you to connect fully with yourself through your breath, regardless of what else is going on around you or out in the world. This is your moment, your moment to breathe.
as you take a moment to observe your breath. Your body begins to relax and become more comfortable. Every moment from this moment forth, you'll be finding greater opportunities to experience comfort in your physical body. The aches and the pains and the discomfort that has been being experienced by some of you in the physical body is all part of this ascension process. Some people feel as if they're falling apart right now. It's important to acknowledge that this is the old world falling away. It can feel very uncomfortable, especially if we try to hold on to it or attach stories to it or worry about it. Just know and trust that the old is falling away. And some of that has been very stuck and stagnant in your physical body. And as your body gets lighter through the energy transmission that you're receiving over the coming months and years, your body will let go, will surrender to that light and all of the dense old information codes that may be perceived as sickness, as illness, as disease will simply fall away. This is a natural part of the ascension process. It can feel very uncomfortable sometimes. The body is cramping and hurting. Just focus on your breathing. And as you breathe, trust and know that your body knows how to let go. That your body is perfectly designed to let go and to release this old information. These ingrained emotional patterns. The trauma. The debris. The darkness of the past. As you open more to the light energy transmission of, at this time, then there's greater opportunity for the darkness and the shadows to move into that light and be dissolved, completely transformed into light. Just through breathing. Just through presence. Your body is opening up more and more to light energy transmission each and every day. Over the coming days, weeks, months and years, your body will receive information through this light energy transmission which will help you to ascend to a whole new level. It's time to consciously decide that this is your time to shine, to bring this light fully into your being and to be the light. This light energy transmission is your greatest awakened presence. It's always been available to you. The activations that you're receiving will open you up more and more to the truth that it brings. The truth that is you. You can receive these activations simply by allowing it to be so. There is a unique energy transmission coming to you at this time. This activation is coming through. 
You are here to receive this activation on this day. You have met a specific coordinate. You have come into alignment with yourself fully. And so have a moment of self-gratitude for hearing your inner voice, for following your knowing and coming into that place of oneness with all. You are surrendered. You are the light. You are activating the planet at this time through your presence. You are a beacon of light bringing out an activation to this planet which will help to affirm this time of ascension so that others too can be called forth to come into alignment with themselves, to come into alignment with all. You are a powerful point of presence and in this moment now you can acknowledge the greatness that you have, that you are, when you are present and accountable and in alignment with all. This is a powerful moment. This energy transmission is coming to you, awakening you to yourself, to your potential, to your divine flow and purpose helping you to see more clearly, hear more clearly, feel more fully, transcend limitation and open up to the truth. You are the truth when in alignment with all and open fully to your potential to your purpose, to the light. The light is all that you are, all that you have ever been. And as you allow that light full expression to flow fully without interruption, so you are ascended, magnificent, the heart of everything, at one with all. Your unique energy transmission is coming to you now, bringing specific coded information to you that will help you on this journey as you gently unfold the petals on a beautiful flower, opening to the light the light which is you, opening to yourself fully and the truth that you bring, the truth that you are, that magnificence, that wonder, that all. You have nothing to hide anymore. You have nothing to be ashamed of. You have nothing to hold back from and everything to give as you open and surrender to the blessing that you are at this time. There is great insight coming. There is so much to awaken to. You have the opportunity to hear and see and know in ways way beyond what has previously been available to you. This new energy transmission is calling you forth. And as you learn to listen, as you learn to hear, as you learn to trust yourself and open up more fully, so that calling will bring you to be in exactly the right places at the right time, all the time. In your unique flow, with confidence, with joy, with sincerity. 
You are the key to the ascension process. The key is in your presence. Your ability to awaken fully in a grounded way to this earth plane at this time. So that you can be the ears, that you can be the heart, that you can be the voice, you can be the unique song, that you can be the transmission that the earth requires. Calling her forth to a greater level of consciousness. Humanity in service to her, bringing her the light she requires to make that journey, to make that shift. To come fully into alignment with herself, her true power. You are this transmission when you open your heart and you align yourself fully with the heart of the cosmos. There is but one transmission, the transmission of the awakened heart, the true heart frequency that echo, echoes throughout all consciousness, bringing everything and everyone together as one, a unified field of intelligence, cooperating, collaborating, communicating, whole and complete. This is your invitation to be in this flow, To allow yourself, to give yourself permission to step forward at this time of change and to keep stepping forward. No matter how much resistance you have, no matter what blocks there are in the way, that you just keep moving, allowing, opening, surrendering and being. Be the energy of transformation. This is your time. You have worked so hard towards this time and now it's here. Don't hold back. It's the time you've been waiting for. And yes, it's been hard. And yes, sometimes you've doubted and feared and worried and perhaps thought that you're lost or confused or going mad. But no, this is a shared truth. This is a shared union where all beings come together as one and see clearly and know fully and are awakened to what it truly means to be present and allowing energy to flow freely, allowing all to come into being fully, expanding. Feel that expansion. Expand into that expansion. Let your awakened consciousness move beyond the limitations of your pre-programmed mind and into that unlimited potential that you have when you're one with the divine, with source, with the universe, with all that is. There is no greater power. Let the little you see this power and potential. Let the small you that tries to control everything through fear and 
drama and manipulation and insecurity and doubt. Let that little you see the enormity, the powerfulness, the sense of this light, this presence. And ask that little you to just let go and be that. Just let go and have that guidance. To just surrender and feel that flow. Breathe it in. To every cell of your body, every fiber of your being to that expanded space all around you. You are receiving an activation right now. This activation is coming to your heart, building a bridge between your true heart and that place where that little you exists. Call that little you through to take your place at this time and know that it's okay to shine, that you will be supported, that you will be encouraged, that you will be loved, that it's okay to be you. You're a precious child of this beautiful universe and you've come here to shine. To be unique, to allow your gifts and talents, those little things that you enjoy, no matter how tiny they are, those things that are important to you, that make you buzz and feel alive, to let all of those things Come fully into your present everyday reality. There's no need to be shy and hide. There is space here for you. Plenty of space. It's expanding all the time as it calls you forth to be divine. As you ascend as you awaken, as you shift more fully into truth, into love, into acceptance. So you will find greater and greater opportunities to connect with others more true, more authentically, so that you can build a bridge between them and you and start to show up for who you really are. Let go of the mask, cut the puppet strings, dance your unique dance and feel free. Giving other people permission to be who they really are. This time of ascension, there's no greater gift that you can bring to this earth than your light. And your light is in the joy. Your light is in the love. Your light is in your authentic expression, in your flow. Nothing more is being asked of you. And yet sometimes this can just feel so big. It can feel almost unbearable. It can feel like such a challenge. It's like there's a veil between you and you, <laughs> the little you and the big you. And that veil can just seem so thick like a brick wall until you move through it. And then you look back and you'll see there was nothing to it. 
It's the fear that makes it seem so big and so strong and so insurmountable. But in truth, you can do anything. When you embrace that full potential, when you embrace the power of this great universe, and you do those things that come natural to you, those things that you've come here to do, those things that the planet needs from you, that's being asked of you, to help others, to help the shift. Your love is so great, your heart is so huge. Let it be expressed, let it be experienced, let others feel it so that they can unlock themselves from their own self-imposed prison and find the joy they need to step forward at this time and create a new world. A world based on truth, on love, compassion, sincerity. A new world that we can all share joyfully, where the new children will sing and dance and be free to be themselves, to bring us the greatest gifts imaginable through their presence, where we can hold hands, where our hearts can be connected as one. And the earth is blessed. It comes into alignment with the cosmos, all beings everywhere. And a celebration of oneness. You're part of this amazing picture. It's your purpose at this time to shine, to awaken, to ascend, to ground these new energies to the earth, to be a friend, come together, share, make a difference, show that you care. It's the simplest thing that you have to do. So no one's saying that it's always easy, but it is very, very simple. This energy transmission will continue to support you and call you forward to take your place. There's nothing you need do except be you. There's no more to it now than to shine out what's true. There's nothing more to this ascension process than to allow the light of this great cosmos to shine through to the heart of our planet. And as you receive this last activation of this session, know that you were born to shine. You've awakened at this time. This is that moment that you've been waiting for. To truly know that you're divine. And through that knowledge, through that wisdom, through that awakened presence, you will shine. And so it is.